My name is Samuel Lefcourt, and this week I took a look at Starfish Space's Space Tug. Normally, space tugs are used for transferring material between orbits, but Starfish Space claims that theirs will have the ability to extend satellites' uh, lifespans, remove debris, and transfer those satellites between orbits. So this would be huge uh, if it works, and what their goal is is to get it into the autonomous robotics infrastructure so that it can participate uh, basically on missions and it's not an add-along separate feature but rather something that is uh, part of a larger whole. While this is great if it works and done properly, it also opens up a means of attack to adversaries. They could potentially use this space tug to perform an advanced persistent threat to mess up the satellite. They could also use it to perform an AI system attack by somehow disrupting the kind of business case. So if the satellite is trying to capture an image or, or do some, some type of business case on that satellite, maybe the, the space tug is, is hindered in some way such that it produces debris over the camera and it disrupts the business, the mission, which would be awful. So it's imperative that these space tugs are created in such a way that they can't be altered without notice. But on the flip side, this could be amazing. Normally space missions ex uh, expand from their original goal and they usually take longer than initially expected. So having the ability to extend a lifespan of an already existing satellite up in space would be huge for businesses uh, and scientists. Because as we know, launching satellites into space, it's not only a risky business, but it's also a very costly business. Uh, and that can disrupt plans, disrupt a timeline, really could end a whole mission if something goes wrongly. So having this ability is amazing. But unfortunately, the attackers think the same thing. Thank you.